Good Friday morning at Channel 3 Weather Center in downtown Memphis. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. We continue again to have a little bit of dense fog across the area this morning. As we take a look in and around the Mid-South, the dense fog advisory has been continued until about 9 o'clock this morning, according to the National Weather Service. The weekend looks pretty good. Next week, the possibility of a few showers and thunderstorms heading our direction. We'll talk more about that in the seven-day forecast in just a little bit. Forecast in the red bar on the bottom of your screen. Winds out of the north today, mostly cloudy skies and temperatures for highs back into the lower to mid 60s heading into later on tonight temperatures back in the 30s across parts of the area as the skies begin to clear the clouds right now acting as sort of a roof keeping the temperatures down into parts of the area into the 40s but by the time tonight those clouds move out and that means the heat from the day whatever we get from the sunshine through the clouds just radiates upwards and away and that's going to make it much colder so temperatures for later on tonight going back into the 30s Rest of your forecast coming up here in just a few minutes, so stay tuned for that. Looking across the Mid-South this morning, for the last 24 hours, we're not seeing anything in the way of any earthquakes, although the earthquake energy from that one in and around El Salvador down toward Nicaragua off the west coast in the eastern Pacific, that energy did make its way through the Mid-South. If you'd like to see more about what that looked like from the United States Geological Survey and from the Center for Earthquake Research and Information, all you have to do is check out my Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, or Google pages for more on that. Heading out to the stores today, well, it's not going to be too bad out there for temperatures out across the Mid-South. If you're going to be heading out to get some fresh air and maybe just taking it easy and finding what's out at your local, state, or national park level, mid to upper 40s by the time the sun rose this morning in and around Shiloh at the National Military Park there. Mid 50s expected through about midday today with mostly cloudy skies and then clearing a bit by sunset tonight and temperatures dropping from the mid to upper 50s. That'll be the high temperatures for later on today. More information, you can get details from the National Park Service at nps.gov or hashtag findyourpark on Twitter to find out more details is there. Mid to upper 40s to lower 50s throughout the rest of the next few hours. A few golfers out and about in and around the area of Windy Country Club and temperatures for highs today pushing 60 degrees for much of the Mid-South area but not really seeing again a lot of activity throughout much of the rest of the Mid-South throughout the rest of the morning and into later on this afternoon. Rainfall chances limited into next week. We'll talk more about that in just a little while. Advisories throughout the rest of the area outside of that dense fog advisory which will be expanded until 9 o'clock this morning little of anything really going on across much of the continental United States. Things are decently quiet. The only major problems that we have off the West Coast states, we do have again a few areas of concern, some high wind warnings into northern parts of California and into around portions of South Central Oregon at this time, but beyond that, not really much going on there. We do have some winter weather concern into northeastern parts of Washington, northern Idaho, and into parts of the rest of the area up around the Cascades, so a a little bit more problem areas there and gusty off the coastline of California, Oregon and the West Coast small craft advisories in effect at that location but otherwise not really looking at again too much information taking place in the way of major problems and again if you're just tuning in early this morning we've got that dense fog advisory in effect now until nine o'clock for much of the area into southeastern parts of the viewing area no rainfall yesterday we're behind for the month now by over three inches we've only picked up over an inch of rainfall and we should have over four inches of rainfall at this time of the year we will pick up some more rain on monday and probably on wednesday but not enough Enough out there to alleviate our drought situation going on six inches plus for the year we had over a foot of rainfall over the last couple of months from February and March onwards, but that surplus is rapidly dwindling as we approach the end of the year. Temperatures yesterday, 48 our low temperature, just above our high of our normal low of 40, and our high temperature 54. Normal we should be at about 59 degrees. Record high for today, nowhere near that expected 77 degrees set back in 1908. So looking at fairly cool conditions out there, thanks to those clouds and fog from early this morning. Lower 50s through about mid to late morning coffee break time heading into lunchtime today clouds start to part by just a little bit mid to upper 50s across much of the mid-south we might broach 60 degrees briefly by the time we head through mid-afternoon and peak heating time of the day and then by dinner time tonight temperatures in the high 40s to around the lower 50s wrapping things up for friday and the week temperatures in the upper 40s to lower 50s by the time we hit News Channel 3 at 10. And then by tomorrow morning, heading toward daybreak, starting bright and early at 6 a.m., temperatures close to freezing in the Mid-South with all those clear skies.
skies out across much of the area. So mid to upper 50s for today should be clearing skies, but grudgingly clearing the skies for later on this afternoon into this evening. Clear tomorrow for the most part after a brief cloud-sun mix in the early portions of the morning. Lower 60s into Sunday. More clouds expected in advance of our next storm system, which will be moving into the Mid-South by Monday. We see again the possibility of widespread showers and thunderstorms, so your commute to and from work and school on Monday could be sloppy. Next chance of rainfall after that will be on Wednesday, mid to upper 50s for highs throughout the early to mid portion of next week after a brief cool down on Tuesday. Chances of rain return to the Mid-South as we head into next week weekend. First weekend of December looks like it'll be mostly cloudy and chances of showers fairly widespread by next Sunday, but that could again change in parts of the area, so keep it tuned to News Channel 3 for updates on that. Fog tomorrow morning could also be just a bit of a problem in the Mid-South, so stay tuned to News Channel 3 for updates on that because we could be looking at visibilities similar to this morning by early tomorrow morning, and we'll have updates on that coming up on News Channel 3 Daybreak. Taking a look in and around the area where the troops are, weather across the oceans into areas where American troops may be stationed, 50s and 60s in Iraq. Sun has already set in and around Baghdad and back down toward portions of the Persian Gulf. Temperatures mild for this time of the year, mid-60s through about the mid-70s with thunderstorms around Doha and Qatar and around the mid to upper 60s with rain in and around Riyadh and back toward Bahrain earlier this evening. And looking into Afghanistan, temperatures much colder up in the mountains, 32 in Fayezabad, 22 in Herat, 40s and rain around Kandahar and back down toward Kabul early this evening and back down to around the Korean Peninsula, temperatures much colder, partly cloudy skies, Chuncheon, Taegu and Seoul and Kunsan at 33 degrees with mostly clear skies, calm winds at 39 degrees around the area close to Pusan at 11.16 Saturday evening. Want to know more about the weather and if you have any pictures please tweet them to me at aonic underscore wreg3 and of course my forecast will be available all weekend long on the EAB network country 92.5 and oldies 102.3 and available for various platforms at the app store just search WREG weather. I'll have your complete forecast throughout the rest of the weekend from News Channel 3 Daybreak on Saturday through the late edition of News Channel 3 at 10 on Sunday, so stay tuned for more information there. Also, questions, concerns, ideas, anything you'd like to see on here, austin.onic at wreg.com. If you'd like to get more information about your complete forecast and ideas about what we can feature on here to make this your weathercast online to keep you coming back for more, please let me know. We can't do this without your support, so please give me an idea as to what you'd like to see on here. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik, live and direct from the News Channel 3 Weather Center in downtown Memphis. Thanks for joining me for Friday morning's edition of our exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime. And stay tuned to News Channel 3 throughout the weekend for further updates.